in the heart of a distant land. There lay a village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests. The village was known for its thriving community. But it was also home to a humble scholar named Amon. Amon was a curious soul, always seeking knowledge and wisdom from the world around him. His passion for learning was insatiable, and he spent his days poring over ancient tomes and scrolls in the village library. One day, as Amon sat engrossed in his studies, a gentle voice whispered to him, Seek beyond the words on parchment. Young scholar, venture into the woods, where a library of unparalleled wisdom awaits. Amon was intrigued by the mysterious voice but dismissed it as a figment of his imagination. However, the thought lingered in his mind, and curiosity gnawed at him like an itch he couldn't scratch. Unable to resist the call, Amon decided to explore the woods. He packed his satchel with supplies, donned his worn-out cloak, and ventured into the heart of the forest guided by an invisible force. He walked deeper and deeper until he stumbled upon a clearing. Before him stood a magnificent tree, its branches reaching for the sky like the arms of an old sage. Amon approached the tree, and to his astonishment, he saw that its trunk was hollowed out, forming a doorway into darkness. He hesitated for a moment but was drawn to enter. Stepping through the threshold, he found himself in an expansive chamber filled with shelves upon shelves of glowing orbs, each emitting a soft, radiant light. As Amon gazed around in awe, the same gentle voice echoed, Welcome, seeker of knowledge, to the enchanted library. Herein lies the wisdom of the ages, waiting to be uncovered by those who possess the heart of a true scholar. Amon was overjoyed. He reached for one of the glowing orbs and was instantly immersed in a flood of information. Time lost its meaning as he delved into subjects he had never even imagined. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, yet Amon remained engrossed in his studies, convinced he had found the pinnacle of knowledge. One day, however, as he reached for yet another orb, a powerful force surged through his body. Pushing him back, the gentle voice now sounded stern. Pause. O oh seeker, you have learned much, yet you have overlooked a fundamental lesson. Amon was puzzled. What have I missed? He asked. The lesson of humility, the voice replied. In the pursuit of knowledge, humility is the greatest teacher. The more you learn, the more you realize how much you don't know. True wisdom lies not in the acquisition of facts, but in recognizing the vastness of the unknown. Amon realized his folly. He had become consumed by his desire for knowledge and had neglected the very essence of being a scholar, the willingness to admit his limitations. With a newfound sense of humility, he bowed before the enchanted library and said, I am but a humble seeker. Grateful for the wisdom I have gained. I acknowledge my limitations and accept that there will always be more to learn. As he spoke these words, the orbs around him began to glow brighter. The chamber itself seemed to shimmer with approval. Then, the voice spoke once more. You have learned well, young scholar. Your humility has unlocked the final lesson. In an instant. Amon found himself back in the village. Standing before the village library, he felt a deep sense of fulfillment and a burning desire to share his newfound wisdom with his fellow villagers. He spent the rest of his days as a dedicated scholar, not just seeking knowledge, but also spreading the importance of humility in the pursuit of wisdom. And so, the village flourished with a newfound spirit of humility and the tale of the humble scholar in the enchanted library became a timeless legend, reminding all who heard it that in the pursuit of knowledge, humility is the greatest teacher.